I don't know if you've heard it or not, um, but apparently uh, there's been some racial profiling going on um, with the American Airlines. This uh, man by the name of Mohammed Alaid, uh, he's, he's aborting an American Airlines flight and the stewardess looks at him and she begins to feel uncomfortable. So what does she do? Well, after doing her job, she goes over the self-address system and she gets on the intercom and she says, Muhammad Ali, seat 25A, I will be watching you. And she proceeds to do this not once, not twice, but three times. Well, upon arrival at that destination, American Airlines immediately had security escort this man off of the plane. American Airlines offered no apology because they said after their investigation that they have found no steward misconduct, um, and no reason to see why that people should be in an uproar over this um, case closed. Obviously, that this guy was apparently Arabic, and I want you to see exactly what's going on in this country. You see, I just did, or oh, let me just say, I posted a series of news sources from all different perspectives of news agents, mainstream news agents and some independent this morning. I gave no comment. I gave nothing. But it's only appalling to me to see someone says, well, I used to like you, now I'm unsubscribed. Now, we live in a country, at least I thought we did, where it's okay for people to be objectively disagreeable with someone. You know, there's such thing as a healthy, you know, having healthy disagreements. We're not going to agree on every point of view or every perspective because everybody's intelligent levels, everybody's education levels, everybody history levels is at different places. So we're not going to agree on every single point and stuff. And you know, that's why education, that's why study, that's why investigating before you speak on something, because if you do speak on something, you be ready and be prepared to defend your position. Because too many times, more often than not, that we have people constantly over and over and over and over and over and over again. What do they do? They constantly hear something that I or somebody else states, and I begin to get racially profiled, and they, they, you know, think that my comments is based upon what has commonly been redetermined and redefined uh, the definition race. They see my skin, and they think I automatically stand for certain demographics. They think I automatically stand for a certain perspective, but they really, truly are not hearing my words. I actually gave history, the brutal honest history of this country a few videos back. Oh, you ought to see the backlash. What's disturbing is the people's inability to be able to get past emotions and feelings and to deal with facts. You know, um, I'm going to use this term. <clears throat> Infeminate people are the ones who have an extremely difficult time of actually acknowledging the truth. Because it's difficult for them to do when their emotions and feelings are so engaged and they've been living after them all of their lives that they have actually made every decision that they have ever done in their life based on how they feel or an emotion that they simply don't understand and not facts. The intent of me giving out all these news sources, every single one of them, was to let you all hear different perspectives different point of views and then you draw your own conclusions and stuff now how many people can say they're going to say it anyway because you have ignorance you know this dismal ignorance that's going on in this country that people they're just going to have an opinion they're going to be opinionated but i'm not worried about the ignorant people they are obvious you can see it we're looking for a healthy discussion because you see the elephant in the, in the room is this if you refuse to talk about sensitive subjects you can never have closure. You can never have a coming together. Uh, you can never have uh, people walking hand in hand uh, in agreement because it's only when you talk about 
the things that mean a lot to people and the things that cause a lot of pain and has caused a lot of pain in the past. You can't do anything about closing the wounds until you first acknowledge that there are wounds. So yes, we do live in a country that's racially divided. It has always been that way because from its inception, it started that way. And I don't think that the people in authority are doing everything that they can to make sure that they bridge the gap. I, that's myself personally. But how is it to be in this country and just because you have a certain demographic, you're automatically being discriminated against because, for instance, this airline stewardess saw this Arabic man on a flight and she felt uncomfortable, so she singled him out and called him out. Should we all start boycotting American Airlines? I mean, after all, they're only still flying right now because uh, in quantitative easing in one, two, and three, they received bailouts from the government at the expense of the public because these boogers fuss the numbers and cook the books and can't even balance a checkbook. So guess what? Since we can't balance a checkbook and we need the airline industry and stuff, we're going to saddle this debt on your children, your children's children, and your children's children in order to keep this airlines afloat. We can't even take credit advice from this country. Now, what I'm talking about now and what I'm trying to say is, no matter who you are, put yourself in Muhammad Ali's shoes. How would you feel if you were singled out on American Airlines? Not once, but twice, but three times. Now you got all these people, and you know how unintelligent Americans are. Now you got all these people looking at you. Looking at you with an evil eye as if you're, you're suspect for something. Man, I tell you, it's utterly amazing. Now mind you, the founding fathers of this country is the one who started this thing. That this country would be a country that would have freedom of religion. Freedom of expression, meaning freedom of speech. And now people are exercising that freedom. I mean, if the country is pretty much based on the Bible and Christianity, that's pretty much what it, what it is. Why do we tolerate Satanists, witches, warlocks, homosexuals, sodomites? There's so much more outcry and so much racial division in this country that all these other greater sins Ooh, gee, they take a back seat. What saith you?